Well, hello, I'm Rob Boyd of Cisco's TechWise TV. And in this video, Jimmy Ray and I, mostly Jimmy Ray, we're gonna show you just how easy it is to set up the Cisco Business Edition 6000 and then configure it to allow your individual users to customize their own IP endpoint preferences, all while IT maintains a secure, integrated, easy to manage and maintain system. The Business Edition 6000 brings it all together. You just add the IP endpoints you want and away you go for up to 1,000 users. It's pretty impressive. Let's check it out. Introducing the Cisco Business Edition 6000, equipped with powerful components that provide call control, administration and management, messaging, instant messaging and presence, license management, virtualization, all integrated on a powerful UCS C220 M3 rack server. You can optionally add the following applications, basic and advanced paging, telepresence, web conferencing, contact center, call routing, and emergency services. Users will love the single number reach, click to call, point to point video calling, visual voicemail, and directory lookup. And for the IT staff, this installation wizard, customized dial plans, single screen subscriber manager, self care management portal, integration with popular productivity and office applications, and external directory import like Active Directory via Cisco Prime Collaboration. Wow, all that's in here? Well, yeah, well, you, have, you gotta add your phones, your laptop, and a monitor, but basically, yeah, everything is in here. Well, that's kinda cool. So what you're really saying is, though, is that this thing integrates and manages mm -hmm. our voice, right. our mobility, messaging, conferencing, and advanced video for telepresence. Come on, man. Don't forget, 100 contact center agents with this thing. Wow, man, so that's good for our customers and our employees. Easy administration and licensing is a breeze. Man, I've heard enough. Let's go set this thing up. All right. Okay, man, that's it. We're all uh, we're all set up. We got all the gear set, uh, up and running. So we're ready to rock the house. Yeah. So now, I've got this phone uh, already deployed and set up. You know, I kind of uh, you know that, that that's already in there with the profile. Um, this one is your phone, and uh, yeah. So can't you tell why the, uh, oh, the with, with, with the nice flowered background? Thank you. Yeah, you know, just uh, just that's very give nice. you, yeah, group oh. up. Okay, now no, no, get away. Um, so. All you need to do now basically is just add your account in to plug this in. And this is a real advantage that Unified Provisioning Manager, and you know, real quick, I know that, that time is of the essence, but the Unified Provisioning Manager, the brand new one they put in here, is unbelievable. If you've used it before, mm -hmm. uh, no, you haven't. I mean, this is an incredible oh, really? improvement. All the changes that we've done to no it. No matter is, what you think you know. Man, I'm telling you, Rob, it is absolutely amazing. So, what we're going to do is go ahead. And I'm going to plug in your uh, password here as well. One, two, three. You're setting up my phone? See, yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Plug in. And now the next piece I do here is I want to select what type of profile you have. Now, this is a piece that is really pretty groovy because this is where I have all my phone models in, mm -hmm. and I can select the one that's yours. These are all pre configured, they're all set up, so and I got these templates in. But here's the great thing sure, you can use the default ones. But you can actually have your own custom profiles in here that's going to have everything in there that you want to deploy, which is... So, like, for certain roles, just make it real easy to roll those out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, we'll go ahead and snap that burger in right there. You can see that I've got a, a standard template in here as well. Uh, we can plug that in, or we can actually customize that um, to set those up. A lot of people don't like the cookie-cutter type looks of their phones or whatever, so we'll go all ahead right. and yeah. plug all that good stuff up and ready to roll. Now, the MAC address, we'll put that in so we can actually find that. Now... I went ahead and, uh, and and cheated. I've got the MAC address I already wrote down. Went ahead and saved it to the clipboard so that I don't have oh, to type all that stuff you. in because nobody ain't wants to see me say one A B F. I mean, right. so we'll go ahead and I'll just copy that thing in right now. 
So this doesn't seem hard at all. Copy paste. No, man, are you kidding me? Look how simple this is. Which is great, right? Because anytime you have that simplicity, um, you're always giving folks the chance to do something a little differently. You're not really having your higher end engineers doing a pretty basic task right. um, on the network. So we'll control V action. Um, our line type we can plug in, we can say auto assign, or we can do a chosen line. Personally, um, I'm a, a big believer of the chosen line. And when we set up the, the, the directory number, I like it to match the user ID. Okay. Makes management so much simpler on everybody, man. I mean, you don't, you don't have to, but a little user tip there from mm -hmm. your old Uncle Jimmy Ray. Mm. So tying it in, we've got, these are the services. Now look, see, check this out. These are showing the services that you've been pulled based upon that template. So you've got... Oh, so that gets pre-filled for you. Isn't that groovy? That way you don't make an Isn't inadvertent groovy? mistake. Check, check, check. So you know what you're sending out um, to all your users out there. Go ahead and click an add. It says order in progress. And this makes deploying these so much easier than you could ever imagine. Okay. It gives you the ability to really drill in and add any foam models in here that, that you have, anything that you want. Mm -hmm. The engineers actually showed me, it's like, we even have an SP30 Plus in here if you still got one of those things laying around. I'm like, uh, that would be Oh, that's good for you. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's old school for anybody wanting to do some Cisco trivia. Um, so, all right, so now you see our phone over here. Mm -hmm. You see we're all registering up. My phone, you mean? Yeah, your phone, exactly. It's all registered up. On your phone, if you can look at, uh, we can see that interface too, but chances are I'm going to be doing this remotely. And so I won't oh, be able point. to, you know, I'll be sitting in the data center, I'll be sitting at my desk somewhere deploying this out. I'll be able to see that phone doing its thing. What I can see is last updated. See provision in progress, mm -hmm. plug all that stuff in, status is pending. You can look at these other ones down here that they're already uh, set up and ready to go and, and provisioned out. This is a really cool piece, but the real trick is, is we want people to be able to kind of set their own stuff up, right? I mean, yeah. not to go in here and do a provisioning manager, of course. I mean, come on, with job security, not right? Not for users, yeah. Um, so what we want to do is just give them the ability to maybe add, a, you know, a couple speed dials in here. Or mm -hmm. give them the ability to actually, you know, customize their, their name that kind of displays up, right? Help them feel like they're in control. Yeah, so I went ahead and plugged in on mine. You can see uh, Jimmy Ray Purser here. I went ahead and plugged all that stuff in. Mm -hmm. You're already on my speed dial. You know, I, I plugged that stuff in. Cheers. Yeah, hey, how about that bonus, right? But So if I want to do that, I can actually click on my little personal settings icon here. Go ahead and, and, and bring that up. Now, look at this. How cool That's is this neat. interface? Yeah. So look, I mean, this is not like actually, you know, telling it in here uh -huh. and go back to command line. Look how good, that shows my phone. Very welcoming. Yeah, and so you can plug this in. I can set my speed dials, my do not disturb, which is what I set. We're supposed to have those like, you know, corporate meetings and stuff. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any type of music on hold so you can play, you know, those nice Beatle albums and stuff because you can use your source to plug in here, which is kind of groovy. Uh, and any other user settings you, you mm. want to plug in here. This really makes it so easy. And, and what is it? You know, one of the guys was telling me that when he's deploying these phones, what he does is, instead of having an engineer sit down and configure, I mean, come on, man. This is very, you know, basic type That's of work. That's the way it should be. What he's doing is he's typing up a one-sheet document and leaving it behind and saying, if you want to change these following things, do this. Mm -hmm. You know, here's your user ID. Ship Pick all this stuff in. Look at this URL. This is all common sense. What does it say at the end? My user ID? That's your phone. I mean, we're really trying to make this simple, and that's the real key to this whole solution. All right, we'll see if this thing works here. All right. It's ringing. Uh, What's up? <laughs> All right, All right. It, it's, it's working. working. I think it's calming me feel better. <laughs> oh. Well, so it's that simple, man. <laughs> we just set that thing up, no time at all. What a great system, right? Sure works well. Yeah, man. Well, there you have it. It's sophistication meets simplicity. Everything your business needs in one right-sized, right-price, integrated solution from Cisco. Hey, for more information, well, you know what to do. 